Hey, welcome back to Cool Kids Art and let's draw the awesome looking Venom. So let's get started with a quick sketch and then I will show you line by line on how you can draw this. Alright, so let's draw this awesome looking Venom and to begin I'm gonna draw in his eyes first. So for his eye, just kind of draw in two, just like a bracket. So the eyes are going to be uh, kind of symmetrical. So whatever you do on one side, you got to draw on the other. So we're going to curve this in on the bottom. And then we're going to curve it out. So I'm trying to draw both sides at the same time. And then we're going to curve it a little bit so that we get a nice symmetrical look. And then we're going to come in, curve out. And then we're going to curve it back to the point. So mine is a little bit off, but so, you know, you don't have to follow this shape. I mean, if you draw something uh, different, just make sure you draw it on the same side, on the other side as well. Okay, so then from here, we're going to draw his mouth. So his mouth is actually kind of easy. We're just going to draw like a big curve right underneath the eye. And then we're going to draw in another curve. And this is gonna be his the gum, okay? And then from there we're gonna draw in some of the teeth. So this one's easy. So we just gotta draw. Just keep going, and stop around there. Just keep going and start. Stop when you reach the edge, and then from here we gotta draw his tongue first before I draw the lower mouth. So just somewhere right here, just come down with a curve. And then here, so it starts out really thick and it's just gonna taper in to a point, okay? And then in the middle, we'll just draw a little bit of line just to give it a little bit more detail. All right, so from here, let's draw in the, uh, the, the, the jaw. So from the corner here, I know it's a little bit tight, but just kind of come down. So we're gonna come down. Just kind of curve it around to finish it off. And then we're gonna draw uh, some more teeth on the bottom. So we're just gonna go one, two, just draw, see how many you can draw. Just kind of go all the way up. Okay, and then from here, now all we do is just kind of close everything off. So from the corner here, from the side, just gonna go up and around everything. And it doesn't have to be all that round because it's kind of like a creature, right? And then on the bottom here, we're just following the jawline. We're just going all the way around. All right, so that's the head, and now let's draw in the his body. So up here, right around the eye area, we're gonna come down. This is gonna be the back on his shoulder. Okay, and then from down here, we're gonna draw the, his chest area first. So right in the middle, we can make a little dot. And then we're gonna curve this. So this is his chest. We're gonna curve it all the way out, almost the same distance. That's the back, okay? And then in the middle here, we're gonna draw, um, just come out and then draw a little bump like that. And that's gonna be his collarbone. And we're gonna draw that so we know where we are, okay? And then from here, let's draw his arm. So it's gonna be nice and strong. So on this corner here, we're gonna come out. It's gonna be nice and big. Okay, and then for his bicep, we're gonna start here. Curve, and on the back, curve. So that's his elbow right here. And then now we're gonna come down for his lower arm. So curve, and just kind of pinch it in. And curve out, come in. All right, so now we're gonna draw his hand, his uh, his hand, his claw. So we're gonna come out, just kind of angle it down, and then the claw, and we just kind of come in. Okay, and then now we're gonna draw the back of the hand right here. Now we're gonna draw his finger. So from here, just go up, and then we're gonna turn it, and then we're gonna turn it in. 
and I'm gonna come back out turn 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 okay, it's a little bit tricky it's all these different sections so on the back here we're gonna draw another one so I'm just gonna draw this one I'm just gonna come in and then this claw is gonna be behind that finger so I'm gonna leave it like that um, because these other fingers are behind so we probably can't even see it so let's draw the other arm now so it's gonna be pretty much the same so we're gonna come out very wide bicep curve curve and you can use the other side as a as a gauge so you know how far down to go and now for his lower arm so we're gonna come out curve out and curve okay and then his fingers his thumb comes straight out and turn it down claw and just come out a little bit come back and then on the back back of the hand we just come straight down and then now for the fingers so one turn hook it back up okay so it's just like a C so one section two section three section and then go up. okay and then on the other one down turn it in before you hit that corner and then just one more claw okay so let's draw the rest of the body so for his waist it's gonna be nice and uh, small so on this chest area here we just kind of come in just kind of pinch it in after that just kind of come down a little bit in the middle draw a little line like this and we can actually extend this a little bit okay so now we got to draw his legs so we're gonna come out start here come out in and then for his knee we can draw just draw two little brackets like this all right so let's draw the other side first before we move down any further so from here and again the knee just kind of a little bit bracket in okay and then for the lower leg it's gonna be we're gonna go out we're gonna pinch it in close it off and then we just gotta draw a dome shape here and going out more on this side it's a little bit flatter okay and then the other side it's kind of the same thing we're gonna go out then we're gonna come in, close it off, dome shape, and then the bottom. Okay, so that's pretty much his legs. There's not a lot of details. So now we gotta draw in some of the cool stuff now. So let's draw in the the spider logo, and we'll start on the bottom, like right underneath the the chest line here. We we'll just draw in. Two slants like this going out, and then we're gonna curve it back in, and then just draw a little curve like this. So that's gonna be the the back of the uh, the spider. And then for this one, we're just gonna draw you know two curves like this, right underneath the uh, the jaw. And now for the spider legs, and this this might be a little bit tricky. So we're gonna start here. So we're gonna draw one up and then out okay so and then we're gonna give it some thickness we're gonna come down okay so that's one and then we're gonna draw another one so we're gonna come so you can actually just follow the same line and you'll be able to see the difference once you color it with because one's gonna be white and one's gonna be black okay so that's four and then we're gonna draw just two more all the way up down all right so now we gotta draw the other side so we're gonna come we're gonna start out this side first okay so the tongue's right there so it gets a little bit tricky okay so once we have one so we just gotta keep going just make sure to go underneath the tongue And one more so we can't see that but we'll see it here on this side 
okay and then to add in so that's the the spider logo so to add in some more details we can draw in some lines right here so make it looks like it's you know he's straining and he's a little bit muscular and then let's add in some of the uh, tentacles which is really cool so you, you don't have to follow exactly but just kind of draw a few of these it'll actually make it look a lot cooler and more sinister so here's one here's another one maybe going behind it I'll draw another one here so just kind, of, just kind of give it a little bit of wave and then just make the tip a lot smaller okay and then maybe even one here just kind of curl it curl it back and then let's draw some on the other side we can just do one So here, you know, this is where you have a little fun and just kind of draw your own shapes. And let's draw one more on this arm so we can balance things out. And that is it for this Venom drawing. Hope you guys like the way it turned out. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.